Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Spirit Mod. So in the last episode, we explored the jungle and took down the Queen Bee, and then finally spent an eternity fishing up that hornet fish for the adventurer, which he was happy to give us, I think, absolutely nothing for it, because I went looking in his inventory to see if there's anything special after completing that quest, and it looks like he doesn't sell anything else special. Just the same old, same old, but we got some paintings for it, some new paintings. So we can pretty up our house, make it look real nice. Like this one right here. Oh yes, Dreams of a World Beyond. Absolutely beautiful. It's like the only one I remember the name of at the top of my head. I think that one's like some tower something. That's like deluge. I know there's some kind of deluge. I don't remember exactly. But anyway, all that aside, today is a whole brand new adventure and it is time to finally face off against the Ancient Avian. So we gotta head up there to that egg up in the sky, which I already took the liberty of building a little bit of an arena around it. Have a little bit of a rope going up there so I can get up and down without needing a gravitation potion. But we're going to be facing off against that. I put some platforms up there. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I mean, I have no idea exactly whether or not it will be a problem, but we're going to find out either way. Also, speaking of NPCs whose inventory I kind of forgot about, or shop, I guess. Not really inventory. I guess it's their inventory. But the enchanter here sells something different now that we've defeated the queen bee. It's called a bee glyph. Drenches the user in honey and attacks will release bees. And thanks to the glyphs that I got from some of the enemies that I killed in Queen Bee 2, I think, I was able to put it on the coil pistol. I felt like that would be acceptable. It gives me honeyed. So I feel like it'll be pretty good because whenever it attacks, it pretty much does exactly what it says it does. It's like having like uh, bee nades almost in a way. See those little extra numbers popping up, all those bees over there. I feel like this would be pretty decent against Skeletron unless I get something significantly better. I'm not sure, but we're going to hold on to that. It should be pretty good. So yeah, all that's ready to go and squared away, but right now, as I said, first thing on our list is the Ancient Avian. Before I run over there and take care of that business, I want to complete this incomplete Slayer's contract right here. I have to kill five of the following enemies, Antlion, Assassin, and the Riders. Now, I've already killed three of them, I guess. I guess that's what that means, three out of five. It shouldn't be too difficult to finish the rest of it. should just be able to run over to the desert and just kind of stay in there for a little while. Though I don't remember if they show up at nighttime. I think I have to wait till daytime for them to show up, but I don't remember exactly. I have to go over there and find out. We can test out our new honey weapons. Getting uh, Imagine that, and that'd be a horrible way to go. Getting electrocuted by a lightning blast and also getting eaten alive or I guess stung to death by bees. Not a very pleasant way to go. I'll just use the machine gun, whatever. It doesn't look like they're showing up right now. Same old, same old regular old enemies. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, they're not gonna show up at nighttime. So I'll wait until daytime, we'll finish off this quest and then we'll head over and take down the big bird. Oh, I almost completely and totally forgot something, like, extremely important and exciting and amazing and wonderful. I don't even know how something like that slipped my mind. But over the weekend, the channel hit over 300 subscribers. So that is pretty fantastic. I feel like it was just yesterday that I got 200. And now here we are already 100 subscribers later. So thank you guys so much for that. I, I Like I said, I totally slipped my mind. I don't know how I missed that. I guess I was too focused on murdering these zombies and hunting down antlions. But thank you guys so much for all the support and all the subscribes, and all the likes and comments that you guys leave. It's fantastic. It's very motivational. I always put the smile on my face seeing all those new people showing up, leaving comments, talking about my videos. Makes me feel like I'm really accomplishing something here. So for the one millionth time, I can't say it enough. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support that I've gotten so far. It's fantastic. All right, it's daytime now. Come on, antlions. Don't be too scared of me. I just want to shoot you. My little asteroid buddy here wants to bonk you on the forehead pretty good. It'll be all right. You'll be fine. It'll only hurt for a little while. Trust me, I've learned firsthand. My god, normally I can't even as much as set foot in the desert without getting attacked by all of them at the same time. Where are they at now? The one time that I go out looking for them, they don't want to show up. I mean, I guess maybe threatening them with getting bonked in the head very vigorously by a giant asteroid. Well, I guess he's not giant, but he's, he's big. He has got a big heart. Not the antlion I'm looking for, but whatever. I guess it, it, it counts. Oh, there's one. Got a rider. Oh, yeah. You're done. See you later. Good night. What did I get? I got a sandstorm and a bottle from that. Interesting. There we go. Got it done. Okay, let's head back and see what the adventurer has to say about that. Even though I don't think it really made that much of a difference, I guess uh, I guess he'll be glad to know that the desert is safer now. All right. Hope you didn't get caught up in one of those nasty sandstorms when you were exploring the desert. Even without one, those assassins are tough to spot. It's good to know that you made it home without a knife in your back, lad, or in your stomach. 
or your arms. You get my drift. Thanks for making it just a little easier to traverse the world. I mean, did I really? But wh whatever. I guess you can't break the fourth wall and know how spawning mechanics work. But whatever, it's fine. I'll let him figure it out on his own. So what's next? Up for a little exploring? This world's massive and even I haven't seen it all. Have you checked out the lower parts of the jungle? Yes, actually, I have. I've recently heard about a series of massive hives around there. I loathe bees. And hornets. And giant man-eating plants. So would you like to check out one of those hives for me? I mean, I guess. Kinda already did, but that's fine. What did he give me for this? I got some target cans, another mysterious satchel. Dreams of a world beyond and marsh flats. Well, I got dreams of a world beyond already. We could put marsh flats over there. Is that supposed to be the briar, I guess? I, I'm not sure. I didn't really know that the briar counted as, uh, as a marsh, but sure, why not? Hey, there's that flying carpet. Well, that's pretty nice. I guess it's not a material for anything, but I guess we can hold on to it anyway. And what about this, the outlaws set? All right, look at me. Looking dangerous with my machine gun, my lightning pistol that drips honey. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. All right, well, I guess I'll uh, throw the astronaut set back on. I'm quite attached to that one. It looks pretty nice. I gotta say, I like being the spaceman going around shooting people with lightning. I enjoy that. All right, so with that done, it's time to finally head over and deal with the big bad bone bird, I believe. I I'm not exactly sure if the sprite changed at all, but for what I remember of the ancient avian, it is a big... I guess skeleton vulture? I don't know. It's got like the color scheme of a harpy though, so maybe it's like a like a giant harpy, like a super harpy. Maybe a harpy and a vulture had a baby. God, that is that is disgusting to think about, but I don't know what it is. We're going to go find out and kill it. It's the main thing. We're going to go murder it. Whatever it is, it'll be dead soon, so it doesn't matter. So I'll see you when I get there. All right, here we are up in the beautiful sky over the ocean. What a lovely view. Okay. So, okay, Eater of Souls, guess you had to come up with me. Just wanted to see the sights as well. There's a harpy. Great, I'm gonna get sworn by those the whole time. If I could hit them, my god, if I actually nailed the majority of the shots, then I'd be doing amazing DPS, but I can't seem to aim. I think I mentioned that forever ago. I have terrible aim. But anyway, here is the giant egg in question. I guess we're supposed to break this to get the uh, ancient avian to show up? I guess it's sort of like the queen bee when you smash her egg or his egg or whatever. I guess it's a she if it's laying eggs. I don't know what laid that. That looks extraordinarily uncomfortable, but whatever. That's, that's, uh, it's whatever. Let's not think about that. Biology is disgusting. But anyway, I've got a bunch of potions. Some new ones. I got the toxin potion, which is made out of those toxic, or not toxic harp, yeah. Noxophil, the fish up in the briar, and some bismite. Critical strikes may poison foe and increases crit chance by 4%, so that's pretty nice. And then we got this thing called a sporecoid potion. Causes the player to leave behind a damaging trail of mushrooms. You make it out of this stuff called glow root which you get from cutting down the big mushroom trees over there. Some glowing mushrooms and some moon glow. It's actually pretty nice. I don't know what it's going to be like, but it seems like it'll be pretty nice anyway. Seems pretty cool. Now, I did give myself a summoning potion too, so I could get another little asteroid buddy. But uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. They already can't be trusted, but uh, you know what? We're going to give it a shot. So let's throw down a coil rod, I guess, and buff up and see how this goes. So, without any further ado, the Ancient Avian, oh gosh, he is, she is something is ready to go. Second asteroid, let's go. We got a whole bunch of these things out flying after me. Got a lot of feathers flying towards me. Oh god, I can't even see those. Oh god, now it's raining stuff? What is this? There is wind blowing? Where is he? She? Where is she? Well, refer to her as a she, because she's laying eggs. All right. Take it down. Take the bird down. Ah, God, your attacks aren't too terribly difficult to dodge, but you know what? It's all right. I love this soundtrack, by the way. I have yet to be disappointed by a single soundtrack in this mod so far. I don't see any ads. There's a little sandstorm there pulling a sand elemental on me. You really like to keep your distance. Thank God I'm ranged. Though, you keeping your distance isn't exactly making this a challenge. I thought there were ads for this fight. Oh God, don't Supreme Calamitous me, please. I'm not prepared for this. No, I don't want it. Keep that away from me. God. You almost dead. I think we got it in the bag. Come over here so you don't drop your loot bag all the way down. Nope, never mind. I guess the asteroids had other plans. Okay, come here. Give me all your loot. Ah, God, oh, there's the skull. Give me that heart. I want it all. When I said give me your loot, I meant all the loot. Okay, so what do we got here? We got Fulv's Lost Blade. 
It is a melee weapon that also restores mana. Interesting. It's a melee. It's a uh, material. You need to combine a magic whetstone, which is from something much later. Uh, occasionally returns a larger amount of mana, and this is a material that just keeps growing and growing and growing. Interesting. What about the treasure bag? What do we got in there? We got an avian hook, a demonic talong talongus. To the, got a magic pokey stick, magic pokey, rapid fire jabs, very good. And we got an apostle's garb, which increases magic and range damage by 7% and increases movement speed by 10%. Yeah, okay, interesting. Well, um, I don't know if that'll be good for me. I guess it will be because it's an increase to range damage. A little bit less defense, though. I guess we got to fight him a couple more times before we can actually uh, get all of that. We'll do that. We'll fight him a couple more times, then see what's up. What is that? Talons? Ouch, it's sharp. Okay, that makes the feather crown. So I got to kill a whole bunch of harpies, and then I can craft a few more of these. Oh, God, what are you? Ancient Apostle. You're new. All right, so I'll fight him a couple more times, and then I will see you then. All right, well, that took me a significant amount of time. For you guys, that'll be like a little quick, like, snap blip. But for me, that was like, that was, that was, that was too long. I, uh, I don't, the farming harpies took me forever. Forever and ever and ever and ever. But we got it done, and we faced off against the Ancient Avian quite a handful of times to get all this stuff. So, the first new thing that we got is this thing called a Talon's Fury. Shoots feathers from off screen. I guess it, uh, whatever direction your cursor is, is the direction that they will be flying, I guess. So that was a decent amount of damage. Good magic weapon. We got the Ancient Avian Mask. Looks pretty cool. Got a bonehead headdress here. Looks pretty nice. Pretty cool. Got the trophy, which looks like it is just a talon. It, it won't let me put it up here, but I think you can kind of get a good look there. Maybe that's like a bony wing or something like that. I don't know. We got a ranged weapon called the Soaring Scapula. Pulls enemies towards the ground. I guess whenever you throw it, it just kind of makes those flyers come right down to the ground. You know, if it doesn't murder them first. We got the Talon Blade, which launches fossilized feathers. Pretty much shoots the same kind of projectile that the Talon's Fury does. Just, you know, a little bit slower, because it's a melee weapon. It is also a material for something called a Star Blade. Got to combine a Star Fury, Talon Blade, five Fallen Stars, and seven Astrolite Shards, which I guess we'll get after the dungeon. And we got a Skeletal Staff, which summons an army of fossilized birds to fight for you. They just kind of run out and attack really quickly, and they disappear, just like the Staff from Scarabius and the other one that I cannot remember what it was off the top of my head. We also got some weapons from, I think it was the Harpies, maybe? The Star Spray, I guess, is just a ranged version of the Star Fury. It does penetrate, so that's pretty nice, but it does not go through platforms for some reason. I think that might need adjusticated, but whatever, that's fine. Still pretty decent. I don't know if you can get this right at the very beginning or if you have to wait till you beat the Ancient Avian, because I've killed a good handful of these harpies already, and I've never seen it before, but there you go. And then we got this thing called the Breath of the Zephyr. Creates a mighty gust of wind to damage your foes and knock them back. And then right-click the thrust like a spear at the cost of mana. So we'll use this on this annoying little bird up here. Take that. There we go. I don't know why this costs mana. I'm a little bit confused there. It just requires magic. I'm magically thrusting. Magically poking them. Take that. There's, there's the gust of wind. Just a little wind bolt. Kind of looks like that one other projectile that the avian shot at me. There you go. The Breath of the Zephyr is also a material for something called the Nova Spark. You need to combine the Breath of the Zephyr, Frigid Scepter, and the Unstable Conduit, which I actually have and I meant to use because it kind of does something funny. It's kind of tricky to use up here on platforms, but every once in a while, I can't really get it to do it. But whenever you instantly kill something with it, like right away, like if you kill a critter with it or something, it will just disappear into the ground. It'll just fall right through the ground and just keep going forever. I don't know why it does that, but it's something I thought I'd mention. It's kind of funny. But yeah, this is a material. And then, of course, this keeps going and going and going. You know how that is. So anyway, all that done, there is a lot to go over. But the piece de resistance of the whole boss fight was the armor set, which I guess only has two pieces. The Apostle's headdress and the Apostle's garb. Ah, God, hi. Who are you? Valkyrie. Um, nice to meet you. Okay, so there's some new enemies up here now, I guess. I don't know if they could always spawn up there, but we're meeting all kinds of new happy feathered flying friends up here. Delightful. Anyway, the armor set. It's only got two pieces. And the set bonus for it, I guess it doesn't matter what chest piece you have on, but the set bonus is wind spirits guide you, granting you double jumps, magic and ranged attacks, occasionally spawn feathers to attack foes. So let's see if it'll do it. 
It didn't do it. Come on, shoot some feathers out for me. Maybe I can get it to do it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so there was a feather there. Looks like a harpy feather. It was kind of hard to see, but there it goes. I guess the double jump is pretty nice. Give me that extra little hop, I guess. Pretty cool. Let's me jump up a little bit higher so I can fall down and hurt myself more often. Just lovely. Okay, then. Well, since that's done and over with now, the next boss on our list is Skeletron, and I'm kind of hesitant to get started into the dungeon in this episode because this one's already been going on for probably around about 15 minutes or so. So, I don't know. Why don't we just go for it, see how long the episode is, who cares if it's super long, hopefully it won't be, but... So, I've already given myself a whole bunch of potions. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to need them against Skeletron, but I guess it's better safe than sorry. I'd really rather not have to wait an entire night for the old man to respawn again. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to run over there, going to build up a little bit of an arena, and we are going to take on Skeletron. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. So, I'll see you then. Alright, so I've got this arena pretty well set up. I've built a couple platforms, put up some campfires, and I got my little energizer here. We should be good to go. But what I've also done was I refurbished this little goblin tower here. You know, I, I patched up the holes in the wall, put some lanterns up, little fireplace, some tables, chairs. Nice and cozy. Most important thing is I got a bed in there. So now after Skeletron, whenever I get murdered a million times in the dungeon, I won't have to run so far, you know, all the way across my world just to get back here. So... Here we go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this goes well. I've got a lot of potions. Same ones that I had to face off against the Ancient Avian, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So, without any further ado, let's give this a try. Bring it on, Skeletron. Oh yeah. Let's use our coil pistol here. Let's see if it actually works against him. See lots of bees flying out there. He's gonna do his spin, I know it. There it is. Alright. Ah, got me. Give me a high five. I don't like high fives from Skeletron. I guess maybe it's more like a slap. It's a skeleton slap. Ah, God. Well, I'm not taking an enormous amount of damage, so that's good. I see those mushrooms there behind me. I don't know if that's actually helping me at all right now, but whatever. It's all good. Look at all those bees. It is exactly like bee nades. Melting them. Well, it's not really melting him, but it's doing some damage to him, which is good. It's always nice to see things being damaged, having damage dealt with them. Where did his other hand go, by the way? I'm a little confused. Because I don't exactly remember killing it, but if you say so. Oh, there it is. Ha! <laughs> okay. Fine. All right, come on. And he's done. Goodbye, good riddance. See you later, Skeletron. Anything special in there? I don't know if he's got any special, like, mod-related things that he drops. But there you go. Skeletron has been defeated. Fantastic. All right, well, I guess the dungeon is now opened up to us. We can see all the wonderful new things that are waiting in store for me in there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll just drop off my potions in here, try to open up my inventory as much as I can, and then hopefully I remember to come back for this stuff whenever I finally leave the dungeon. Okay, let's head on in there and see what's going on. Begin the descent. Nice pit all the way down. Some more water candles. We can take all these with us. Oh god, there is a granite biome down here. That's just lovely. I can hear it. It's like it went straight through one, actually. It looks like that's what it did. The dungeon just spawned right through the middle of a granite biome. A lot of chests around here. No keys, though. Give me some keys. Ooh, what are you? Gassed. Ah, bound mechanic, I need you. Don't kill her yet. There we go. Okay, you can kill her now. Everything's good. We're good now. now that skull is, like, sparkling. Possessed cursed skull. Excuse me? Hold on a second. I need to get a better look at this here. Oh, God, the ghast is alive. It's awake. Well, I guess it's not really alive. It's awake, though. It shoots triangles at me. Not shapes. Ah, what are you? Spectral skull. Okay, then. There's a lot of varieties of uh, undead around here, which I guess makes sense because this place is, uh, you know, filled with undead. What is that? Skull spray staff. Summons a skull at the cursor position. The skull erupts into four bolts of energy. Oh. Fancy. Alrighty then. That was a decent amount of damage. That's pretty cool. I didn't even notice that I got a tally counter. What are you? Dark alchemist. Interesting. This place is filled to the brim with new and exciting ways for me to die. Fantastic. Possessed Cursed Skull. Where are all the regular Cursed Skulls? Are they just not here anymore? Have they all just been replaced with the Possessed Variants? Give me some keys, guys. I need some keys. There's one. Thank you. I appreciate that. Finally finally a skeleton that understands. God. I wish everybody was like you. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Magic Missile is a material. Might as well grab that. Throw on a Danger Sense. Gravitation Potion. Just in time for me to not need it anymore. Guess I can save it to get back up to the Asteroids whenever it's time to head up there to face off against the Voyager. Okay, let's kill this alchemist. What do you do? Okay, well, that's kind of exactly what I expected you to do. You throw, you throw bottles at me. 
Ah, God, this guy has a decent amount of armor. Or a lot of health, I don't really know, but... What is that thing? What? Dungeon cube. Oh my God, it just fell out of the sky. Okay. I am being assaulted by too much right now. I'm not ready for this. Oh God, there's two of them. Possessed gas. There we go. So, is that kind of how this works now, down here? Is that sometimes things can be possessed and whenever they die, they release those little souls? That's interesting. There's that cube again. Is that what it does? Just kind of flies left and right? Tries to align itself with me? Oh, good. Thank you for taking my things. Oh, God. This is not going well. Get away from me. Good. Give me another key. At least they're doing that. I can appreciate that, at the very least. Oh, God. It gives me bricks. Okay. What do you got in you? Zealous Valor. Not useful, but I'll take it anyway. I'm really just looking for a handgun. That's priority number one right here. What do you got? Muramasa. Another gold key. Well, all right. Ow. God. Just stop throwing things at me. I guess I could stop standing in front of you, but just, just knock it off. Plague Vial. We can make a class out of this. So, I basically have his ability now. Why are the plagues on fire? Oh, God. This is hostile. At least I can light everything on fire. Take that. Maybe I can grab myself a necro armor down here while I'm at it. Might as well. See if it's any better than the uh, granite one. I feel like the first vanilla armor set I've actually had on since I started. Ah, God, what is that thing? Blazing Rattler. Bunch of bones all stacked up together. At least it can't reach me up here. There's a lot of health, though. God, it looks like the more I shoot it, the more fireballs fly out. Good thing I have a little bit of distance here. A living fire block. Oh, wow, the flames still hurt me even after it died. Who knew? Let's see what we got in you. Oh, good. Yep. Trash. And there's the alchemy table. That takes care of that. Being trailed the whole way down by a cursed skull. I'm also kind of running out of bullets. Well, okay, he died over there. Good for him. I wonder if there's any new, like, structures hidden down here or anything. This place does look a little bit different, but maybe it's because I haven't really seen a pink dungeon in a while. It's an aqua scepter. I guess I'll take that. Why not? Can at least sell it for some gold. There's our handgun. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Now I need to not be attacked by these things. Excuse me. Do you mind? I'm not sure if there's anything else in here that I need. Because I did get myself a cobalt shield. So that takes care of that. All the other weapons I think are pretty much irrelevant. I do kind of want to craft the necro armor just to see if it's any good. Because I've never actually really used it before. How many bones does it take to make one of those things? Where are my bones to begin with? Looks like it takes 100 bones? Okay, that's fine. Got more than enough for that. Oh, there is a new weapon. It's called the Slugger. Right-click to throw the hammer as a returning boomerang. Interesting. Oh, boy. That's a good hit. Man. I can throw it as a boomerang, too? Oh, nice. That actually looks pretty cool. Pretty slow melee weapon, but that's not bad. It is a material. It makes a blood shadow. Okay. That's something I can't make for a while. Good to know, though. Very good to know. There's the shadow key. Almost forgot about that one. I usually do. Can't miss out on the opportunity for some excellent underworld loot. Especially a Hellwing bow. I think that is essential for something later on as well. Like the, uh... I forget what it's called exactly, but I know there's like the Knight's Edge equivalent of a bow. Now there's another Ghast. This one is Possessed. That is kind of interesting. Kind of looks like he's got tornado for pants, though. Like, he literally looks like he's wearing, like, a sweatshirt and he's got a tornado for pants. It's kind of funny. And I am now out of bullets. Oh, and that lovely. At least I still have my bolt caster. That should be decent. Pretty slow. Not a whole lot of damage, but at least it can still kill stuff. So, you know what? That's definitely good. God, it is times like these that I am really glad I have honeyed on this coil pistol. Whenever I'm low on health, I can just throw down a campfire and just pull out my coil pistol and start licking the honey off of it, and all of a sudden I feel better. If it can't do anything else for me, then it can heal me. It's the most bizarre way to get healed, though. Just kind of hold on to it. It's actually working out, though, so you know what? I'm not complaining. Okay, well, it's looking a little unfriendly up there. Why don't I just keep moving? And we have reached a dead end. Oh, here, I can finally show you this thing with the unstable conduit. Here, look. Take a look and see what it does. Look, it just disappears. Just zoomed right on by, but I can get it to do it again. Anytime you kill something with it, whenever you spawn it in, it just kind of disappears. There it goes. <laughs> oh, I don't know why that's so funny, but I, I, it's just it's, it just disappears, like, gone. Oh, well. Well, have I finally reached the end of this? I'm not sure if there's any more dungeon left to explore. I was kind of wondering if there'd be any new rooms down here, but that looks like it's about it. Yes, I do not see any other pathways that lead me off anywhere. 
I think I've got pretty much everything that this place has to offer. I got the alchemy table, got my handgun, whole bunch of water candles. I think we're good to go. All right, well, back home. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. I still have that other chest over here filled to the brim with stuff. Oh, lovely. Okay, that should be good enough. Let's get out of here and head back home. See what all I can do with bones. Let's actually throw a bone in Recipe Browser and see if there's anything new that I can make. So, I can make the Necro set, I know that. All the furniture and everything, Titan Potion. Oh, I need them to make the Sea Break Pearl that will be in the next video, probably, because this one's going to be going on for a little while. But I need this to summon the Tide. It can only be used near the ocean. Interesting. There's the Stone Fist, summons Nature's Protector. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I think that's for Atlas. I can make a statue of the old gods now, I'm pretty sure. Do I have the books? I think I have the books. I just need the gold. Got plenty of gold. There is a Slag Breath, Slag Breaker, and Slag Turn Staff. I need Slag Stone to make that stuff. Guess it drops from these guys. That looks like Underworld stuff. I can make a Marrow Pendant, a Prize Fighter Helmet. Okay, that's Weapon Out. But I can make a Marrow Pendant. Do I have the chains? Should be able to make all this stuff. Oh, I can also make Full Staff of Defense. Interesting. So I guess I can combine the Cobalt Shield with the Full Staff with one of each of the gems. That's probably useful if you're a mage. Saves you an inventory slot. So you don't have to put the Cobalt Shield there to reduce knockback. Well, we'll craft a Sea Break Pearl now, but we won't use it. Let's put the gold in there so I can actually make this Statue of the Old Gods. All right, here we go. Statue of the Old Gods provides the effects of a workbench, potion crafting station, and bookcase. Oh my, you're a biggin. You are a biggin. Well, alrighty then, that looks pretty cool. I don't know what old god that is, but whatever, that's fine. Throw that up there. I guess it'd be better to put it in here, but that kind of takes away from how cool it looks. Wouldn't do that to it. All right, and there is the Marrow Pendant. Reduces damage taken by 5% and two defense. Pretty tanky accessory. Okay, so this is a piece for that Bloody or Twilight necklace I guess you could make out of all those all together. So it's nothing that I can do anything with right now, but it's something to save for later. I see. Well, unless I've overlooked something, and I'm sure if I have, you guys will let me know. I don't see anything else that I'm able to craft with that stuff down there, so I guess that's it for right now. Well, there we go. What an adventure that was. Ancient Avian, new boss, was pretty good, pretty fun to fight, love the soundtrack, and then Skeletron, and we ran into some new enemies in the dungeon. Lots and lots of new stuff to look at. I should probably take a look at these NPCs and see if they have anything new for me. They do. The Enchanter has something called a Veil Glyph. Plus 5% attack speed. After 8 seconds of not taking damage, you gain Phantom Veil. This Veil will increase life regen and block the next attack. That could be useful. Could throw that on one of my ranged weapons, maybe. And what about you, Selene? Anything new? No? Nothing? Alright. What about you, Bandit? Got anything new for me? Zane? Hmm, he does. A Bone Cutter. Dashes through the air in rapid bursts. Well, that kind of flew right into the wall. It doesn't go through walls like the other ones did. Let's take a look and see what it does. What it looks like. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's kind of cool, I guess. You throw it and it kind of slows down and then it dashes again. Nice. Anything else? Uh, that looks like it's about it. Well, with all that done, I do believe this episode has been going on for long enough. So, I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. Thanks again for the 300 plus subscribers. It really means a lot to me. It's very cool and awesome. And whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, I hope you're having a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.